internet world, it's Motivational Monday. And I'm here bright and breezy and really early because I'm a very busy person today. I'm going to go to work for a bit in a bit for to do some lovely serving of chocolates to the wonderful people of the folks of Chorley and beyond. Um, it's a gorgeous day. I had a bit of a rubbish weekend in my head, but it's new start, fresh start today, full of positivity. I'm going for it. You know, we all have these days, don't we? You know what I mean? When life just feels like it's going to drag you down a bit. But we also all get a fresh 24 hours every single day. And that is what I am working on today. That's what I am going for. But anyway, you may wonder why I am dressed so beautifully with my fetching hat and my bubble bling. Because what I want to talk to you today is about challenges. Setting yourself a challenge. That's what I want to look at this week, folks. I am, tomorrow marks the start of this year's challenge that I'm doing, which is I'm doing the Swim 22 again. This will be the third year that I've done it. I will be shamelessly plugging it and putting my... Um, link for my sponsorship page in the uh, comments and that kind of thing because if you want to sponsor me you can do it. if you don't it's fine just cheer me on from the sidelines instead what this all started from was way back when in 2019 was when i first got my first medal now this wasn't for the swim challenge this was for the walking challenge this was 10,000 steps a day 2019 was the year i'd started seriously sorting out my weight and so I'd spotted this challenge on Facebook 10,000 steps a day for a month I think it was July I think it was one but it would be one of the longest months wouldn't it <laughs> but you have to do 10,000 steps a day which to some people might not seem like a challenge that might not seem much you know some of my lovely friends who were like nurses and that kind of thing 10,000 steps you can box that off before your first tea break can't you but to me at the time I was seriously overweight I was unfit so 10,000 steps a day was a challenge but I knew I could do it if I pushed myself just that little bit. Just that little bit. I knew I could do it. So I trotted off on my little trotters and I did it. Some days I didn't want to. Some days I woke up and thought, oh God, I don't want to have to go for a walk. But I did it. I pushed myself. And I got my medal. Then the year after, I spotted, because I'd started doing my swim swims then, and I'd spotted this swimming challenge. So it was, you would swim the channel. Now, don't get excited. I wasn't going to get larded up and then, you know, bob off down to Dover and start fighting with the shipping container ships or anything like that. You had to do the equivalent in your own pool. What you did was found out the length of your pool, you logged your lengths, and so then you built up the distance. And what you would do, you would swim the 22 miles to France. So I did that. That was a challenge, definitely, from someone who, the first time I got back in the pool, I swam six lengths and thought that that was a massive achievement. That was a huge achievement. I was like, boom, six lengths. But then, obviously, while I was doing this challenge, because of time as well, because I'm not fortunate enough to have my own pool, that is an absolute dream. Oh, I'd love that. That would be one of the first things I'd get with a lotto win would be a house with my own pool in it. <gasps> Imagine being able to just get up in the morning and go for a dip, is it? Anyway, because I'm not that lucky and I have to use the public facilities, Obviously, time is a factor, isn't it? Fitting it in round, getting to the pool, doing lengths, getting out, fitting it in round, everything else. So, But I managed to do it and I really chuffed myself up and I, I got faster and I got better. And I was boxing off in the hour, I was boxing off 60 lengths, 64 lengths. I knew that 64 lengths was just about a mile. So I knew that if I did 64 lengths, I'd done a mile. So that's the way I did. I built it up and did it that way. And I did it. And I was like, boom. So last year, when I did it last year, I was very, very fortunate enough to have a bit more time on my hands and being able to do it. And they extended it as well. They extended the period of time that we had to complete it because you have to complete this these 22 miles within this set period of time. But because of COVID, because there have been lockdowns, because people, all sorts of different things had gone on, they extended the time out. And so I was really fortunate and I was able to do there and back. I was able to get to France and I was able to get home again last, this year, last year, sorry. And so I did 44 miles, absolutely bossed it, loved it and enjoyed it. That was the biggest thing, I enjoyed it. 
So I'm doing it again this year, but this year because of family commitments, because of work commitments and that kind of, I'm bringing it back down again to the 22 miles. I did think at first, oh, I'll go for the 44 again. But then I thought, no, I'm setting myself up to fail there because I've got my job now and I've got, um, you know, different family commitments and that kind of thing. I thought I'm pushing myself too much there because I think that's the key with the challenge is it should be something that pushes you slightly, obviously, because it wouldn't be a challenge then, would it? You know what I mean? It wouldn't be something that's an achievement, but it's also got to be doable because I think if you try and choose somebody, you know, say you decide to do the swimming challenge, but you've never swam in your life and you go, oh, all right, in a, in a month, I'm going to swim 22 miles. You think, right, well, is that feasible? Have you got the time? Do you actually think you've got the physical ability to do it? So it's definitely, you know, if you do try and set yourself a challenge, don't set yourself up to fail because that is completely missing the point then. Because what these challenges should be is not only is it fantastic, you know, because they, they do raise money for charity and that kind of thing, but it also it, it should improve you. It uh, clearly, you know, any physical challenge is going to improve your physical ability, but it should also improve your mind as well. It should give you a sense of achievement. It should give you a sense of, I'm look at what I've done. You know what I mean? That's why I love doing them because I get. My, I've never got medals in my life. I was not sporty at all if you saw me running it's like now if you see me running there's something chasing me i am not at all athletical or sporty in any way i wasn't at school i was always last across country it used to make me puke i absolutely hated pe Ugh, just it was a nightmare so to me it was important to start doing something a little bit athletical a little bit moving because you know approaching 50 uh, you kind of start thinking you know got to get myself in a bit of shit so it had that benefit as well but the benefit it gave me more was to my head that look I've achieved something I've done something because I've had times in my life when I've been, been very lost I've been very uh, my identity has disappeared I've not been me at all I've just got completely lost in the chaos and I needed to do something to prove to myself as much as anyone. I wasn't proving it to anyone else. I wanted to prove to myself that I could do something, that I could achieve. It was a bit like when I went back to college to do my teaching assistant training. I did that as much. Yeah, it was to make, you know, to add to my employability. In fact, it ended up making me that I never want to work with children ever again. <laughs> Sorry, kids. I loved them. I loved them to pieces. There were some kids in there that I, I'm thankful that are still in touch with, like the parents and that kind of thing. And they're like, oh, they re they remember you, and they, and it, that is really heartwarming. You know, that's wonderful. But I just can't deal with it. I can't deal with a classroom full of children. Teachers, honestly, you get my thumbs up. How you do that every day it definitely is a vocation. It definitely is a calling because I could not do it. I really can't. But anyway, I digress. But what I mean is I went back to college and I did that and I did my level two and I went on and did my level three and got my diploma. And I was pretty chuffed with myself, you know, because I was in my 40s. I thought I was divorced, single mom, thought I was pretty much ready for the scrap heap. But I thought, no, push yourself, Susan, do something. And that's what I want you to do with these challenges. You don't, I don't say, I'm not saying go out and sign up to go and swim the channel or to, you know, do a flipping truck pull or something like that. Do something that's achievable. Do something. Even if it's only a little personal challenge, it doesn't have to be something that you sign up. Sorry, I'm going to have to take this hat off because it's squeezing my brain. Do something that's achievable that you know is going to make you feel positive if you manage to do it. Even if it's, maybe set yourself a little personal challenge. If you're the kind of person that's, you know, you struggle on a daily basis. Set yourself a challenge. Maybe increase it a little bit each day of one day getting up. Second day getting up and changing out your pyjamas into some daytime clothes. Or maybe you want to do something like set yourself a challenge of going outside every day. 
making because at the moment the weather's glorious which does help doesn't it crikey o'reilly does it help lift our spirits but you know set yourself the challenge of going for a short walk or if you're like me and you want to do something that gets you a medal have a look on tinterwebs because there's tons of different challenges one of my other friends from swimming world she's doing she's walking the great wall of china yeah, she said it's lovely. <laughs> she's seen some sights. She's not actually physically. She's like me. I'm not actually physically swimming the channel. She's not actually physically walking the Great Wall of China, which is she thinks that's a bit. You know, she's a bit upset about that. She quite like to walk the actual Great Wall of China, but you know, needs must. She has to work, like we all do. But um, she's doing that. At the end of that, you get a little medal. Yay! And you know, if you raise a bit of money for charity along the way, that helps you do a bit, a bit of a feel good factor too doesn't it so so that's what i want you to do this week is think of a challenge but what i also don't want you to do don't sign yourself up or set yourself up for failure don't sign up for something or, or say you're going to do something that you know full well is totally off beyond your capabilities is something that's really really not going to happen because you'll just end up feeling oh see failed again i'm rubbish again and you don't want that at all but i'm not saying as well it's like you might sign up for a thing you might set off all guns blazing and then life gets in the way something happens you might get injured or something might happen with your family or something like that and you end up not able to do it but as long as you've put as much effort as possible into it it's like with this swimming challenge they accept that if you don't manage the 22 miles, it, it's okay. You know, you're all right. You still have raised a little bit of money, maybe. You still, you know, you've put every effort into it. And they're happy with that. So I think it's a matter of looking at something that you know is achievable. Something that will, you'll enjoy as well. Make sure it's something you enjoy. You know, don't set yourself up for a swimming challenge if you just scared stiff of water or something like that crikey you're going to mess your head up do something that you think you're going to enjoy that's going to add to your life because that's the whole idea of it that's why i do these challenges every year i have a look at something so far i've been quite happy doing this swimming challenge i might not next year i might think do you know what i've done it three years on the trot now let's look for something different i'll do something different i might be like my friend and go and walk great wall of china or something like that you never know do you you never know what's going to happen but, um, so yeah, think of something. Give yourself a little challenge this week. Well, sun's shining and spring has sprung. New start, fresh start and all that. And uh, just see what you can come up with. So there you go, my beauties. So that's all. Crikey, I've gone on a bit today. Obviously, I'm buzzing. Because <laughs> it's Monday and I want to get going. I need to go and walk the dog before I go to work. So it's all good. So there you go. Carry on being great, gorgeous and good like I know you all are. Uh, have a fabulous day and I shall see you same day next week. Did a Monday again. Doing well. Uh, maybe as early, maybe not. Who knows? But uh, I love you all and carry on being marvellous. Okay then, my beauties. Peace out, muddy funkers.